I'm going to show you guys how to make a Viking round shield. Now I could have just showed the completed shield propped up against a tree or something, but I figured this would be a little more interesting. Stick around to the end of the video, there might be some more of this. So I used half inch plywood, and this is how I made a 32 inch diameter circle. Historically, Viking shields for the battlefield were usually between 32 and 36 inches, and they may have used smaller ones for one on one duels. I also made a five and a half inch diameter circle to accommodate the seven and a half inch shield boss. I drew these because I was planning on using a jigsaw, but then I found out my German friend had a rally. So I just got him to use that and we didn't even need the lines. Next we, or he, Drill some holes for the boss to be bolted on. Here's a pro tip, fellas. Make friends with a guy who's got some badass tools, ask for his help, and then once he gets started, he'll get on a roll and just do all the shit for you. This was just a piece of scrap wood for the hand. German friend cut the ends, then drilled some holes so it could also be bolted on. Then I whittled the grip down a little to make it more comfortable. Try not to whittle your own hand like I do. And the next thing you're going to need is a small screwdriver. Or something similar to carve some shallow grooves to give the appearance of planks. I made mine four and a half inches apart. and then just darken them with a pencil. I use this Rust-Oleum stain and polyurethane combo that's very easy to clean up afterwards with soap and water. I recommend it. I did two coats on the front. And one on the back. Then I just used some old black latex paint I had laying around to do the design. Conflict, peace is death. I'll link to his essay about it in the description. Next step, rawhide dog shoes. You gotta soak them in water for a couple hours to soften them up. Then you can cut them into strips. I made the strips two and a half inches wide because the shield is a half inch thick and I wanted them to wrap around about an inch on each side. 
There was some shrinkage after drying, so they ended up extending about three quarters of an inch. By also making use of the smaller pieces wrapped up inside, I was able to do the entire circumference of the shield with one package. One thing you definitely don't want to skip out on are these binder clips. You can get a big package of them for around six bucks at an office store and they are crucial for keeping the rawhide in place as you're working it around. Then I used furniture nails to help hold the rawhide in place and as a decorative element. I ended up doubling the number of nails because I thought that looked a little bit cooler. And I touched up the paint on the heads of the longer bolts I used on the handle. Then I hit all the bolts sticking out on the back side with an angle grinder so they'd be a little safer. And here's the finished shield again. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button and then hammer that bell that pops up. And if you have any questions or want to share some tips on shield making, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Skoll, Prost, and cheers.